detectors used in gas chromatography various detectors are mentioned among these first five detectors uh, have been already discussed uh, in part first and part second of lecture so this video will be about nitrogen phosphorus detector thermi ionic ionization detector sulfur chemoluminescence detector and flame ion flame photometric detector nitrogen phosphorus detector or flame thermi ionic detector the nitrogen phosphorus detector it is also known as alkali flame detector is a selective highly sensitive detector for organic nitrogen compounds and inorganic and organic phosphorus compound it responds to nitrogen and phosphorus is 10 to power 4 to 10 to power 6 times greater than the response to carbon the principle of npd is that the temperature of the flame break the eluting alloy into fragments some of them into positive ion which release electron to carry a current under the influence of the voltage between two electrodes so it's in simple words temperature will break down the eluting alloy into fragments positive ion and electron and the current will be produced when these positive ion move towards the collector electrode and that current will be amplified and recorded it is a type of selective destructive mass flow detector detection limit is 1 ppb or 1 picogram per liter or we can say 0.1 ppb and 0.1 picogram per liter its main application include organic nitrogen compound inorganic and organic phosphorus compound and drug analysis when a current is passed through a platinum coil so it is a platinum coil and the alkali source is attached to it usually a rubidium salt is used so the coil increases the temperature which create a plasma around the alkali source so it is a plasma now the partially burned nitrogen and phosphorus containing molecule that are exiting from the column when it collides with hot plasma bead and it will undergo a catalytic surface chemistry reaction what exactly happen near the surface of the bead when organo nitrogen or organo phosphorus compound are decomposing is a complex and poorly understood phenomena somehow the rubidium radical are generated within this plasma that are capable of oxidizing carbon nitrogen and carbon phosphorus compound carbon nitrogen and phosphorus compound react with rubidium radical as shown below and they will create ions so this is the reaction in which the rubidium radical interact with carbon nitrogen and phosphorus compound and it will produce negative charge and positive rubidium ion now these ions move towards the collector electrode and the current will be produced that is further amplified and recorded thermi ionic ionization detector tid The thermi ionic ionization detector is similar in design to flame ionization detector and nitrogen phosphorus detector. The TID is highly selective to amines and nitroaromatic compounds that are commonly found in explosive compounds. The electrically heated thermi ionic bead that is positioned in the path of the column effluents and the column effluents interact with this hot bead and it will produce ions so at first the precisely controlled nitrogen or air mixture surround the tid beads within the detector body so first we will introduce air and nitrogen mixture so it will surround this tid bead secondly a voltage is applied to this bead in order to activate its surface after that amines and nitroaromatic compounds that are coming or that are exiting from the column it will interact with hot bead surface and it will produce ions so this r positive ions are produced from the column effluents the negatively charged collector electrode 
attract these result and positive charge ions and the current will be produced and further it will be amplified and recorded sulfur chemoluminescence detector scd as the name indicate sulfur so it is selective and highly sensitive detector for sulfur containing compounds the sulfur chemoluminescence detector uses a chemoluminescence reaction that is caused by the ozone oxidation that is the basic principle of scd here a term is given that is chemoluminescence reaction so what is mean by this reaction a process for determining the properties of compound using the emission of light from the excited chemical species luminescence is actually the emission of light and for emission of light the atom or molecule must be in the excited state and from excited state when it move towards the ground state it will emit photon or it will emit light when a chemical species move to the uh, from the ground state to the excited state it will gain energy from various sources from photon from chemical reaction from various sources when a, when a chemical species gain energy from excited chemical species and it will move to the excited state and upon emission it will produce photons that will be the chemoluminescence reaction so in short when a chemical compound will move to the uh, from the ground state to the excited state by the absorption of energy from excited chemical species then this compound will move to the ground state and it will emit that photon so that is known as chemoluminescence reaction so the scd detector use this phenomena and this is the basic principle for scd detector it is selective destructive mass flow detector detection limit is 1 ppb or 0.1 picogram per liter detection of small amount of sulfur compound in petroleum oil gas and gasoline food odor compounds and the analysis of volatile sulfur compound in beverages working of std a sulfur chemoluminescence detector takes exhaust from the flame ignition detector where sulfur compounds are converted to xs chemical species mainly so that is capable of exhibiting chemoluminescence inside extremely high temperature so this is fid and the sulfur compound are converted in this area to so this so compound will move towards the std sulfur chemoluminescence detector reaction chamber the sx chemical species is carried to the detector area where ozone convert it into excited so2 radical so here ozone is present and that ozone will convert this so molecule to the excited so2 so the reaction is given the sulfur compound that are burned from the fid and it will produce so and other products also now this sulfur monoxide when it move towards the std sulfur chemoluminescence detector it will combine with ozone and it will produce sulfur dioxide excited state so so2 star here represent the excited state radical the so2 emit light upon returning to the basic state and the std detect the sulfur compound by measuring the light that is blue light with a photomultiplier tube when this excited state um, uh, go to the uh, or when this excited state move towards the ground state it will produce photons and that blue color photons are measured and amplified flame photometry detector ftd The flame photometry detector is a sensitive and highly selective detector for phosphorus compound, sulfur compound and organotin compounds. 
so the basic principle used by the fed is that the sulfur phosphorus and organotin compounds they all emit unique wavelength of light when they are burned so allowing this light to the filter to photomultiplier tube the photomultiplier tube convert this light into electrical signal and that is further amplified and that will show the presence of organotin sulfur and phosphorus compound in the given sample so it is highly selective destructive mass flow detector detection limit is 0.1 ppb and 0.1 picogram per liter it is used for the analysis of sulfur in petroleum fractions and pulp phosphorus pesticide sulfur based melders and food odors and organotin in marine products for working of this detector we use hydrogen flame that is usually produced by the burning or ignition of hydrogen and air mixture the column effluents that contain sulfur and phosphorus when it move towards the flame it will combustible ionized so all sulfur and phosphorus compound that will move towards the excited state when these return to the ground state they will emit characteristic photons the specific wavelength filters are used in this detector that will allow these photon to the photomultiplier tube further they are amplified and detected there is a drawback of this detector that it will produce a lot of water which is a problem for this gc detector but nowadays there is a unique design for fpd in which this problem is minimized or this problem is eliminated